Hi, Luke Covey, editorial director of New Tech Press here at the Design West Show, and I'm about to go talk to some guys at a company called Electric Cloud. Let's find out what they do. Okay, so who are you and what are you doing here? Hi there, I'm Electric Cloud, Dax Farhang here at the Electric Cloud booth at the Abedim Systems Conference. We're offering two key technologies for virtually all of the different companies that are here today. First and foremost, Electric Commander. It's responsible for automating all of the machine-oriented tasks that you have in your application lifecycle. These are traditionally tasks like building software, testing software, packaging software, deploying it in test environments, etc. For those companies that want to be agile, they realize very quickly that they need infrastructure in place to allow them to automate these tasks so they can get rapid feedback on their compilations, rapid feedback on their tests, rapid feedback as they move software into new environments. Our second technology is Electric Accelerator. It dramatically increases the compilation speed for customers who have long or large applications. Many of the folks here have those types of applications that are written in C and C++. They're very complex. They have a lot of code that's in these specific applications. Subsequently, it may take three, four, five, maybe 10 hours for them to compile. For those customers who want to adopt characteristics of Agile, even if they're not trying to adopt Agile itself, they need to do short iterations. They need quick feedback. Electric Accelerator allows them to build that software in what would have been five or maybe 10 hours in a matter of minutes. So they get that feedback much quicker than they would have. Okay, so it sounds like your sweet spot might be actually in the area of hardware design, where, where companies are working with software designers, but they'd rather give the, those designers a little bit more, a few more tools to work with, rather than having them grow their own. Absolutely. If you look at our sweet spot in the market, definitely traditionally we've sold into a lot of the embedded providers, a lot of different hardware companies. For many of those hardware companies, because their roots are in hardware, they don't think like a software company. They don't move as quickly as other software providers do. So the adoption of our infrastructure definitely helps them get a competitive advantage. With that said, every company is a software company today. Even those companies who say that they don't develop any software at all probably still have some internally developed business systems that their IT department is responsible for building, testing, and deploying as well. Okay, so how does this scale? I mean, is this only for big companies or do smaller companies like some of the smaller companies here uh, making products, can they benefit from it? Great question. Traditionally, this technology has been something that generally only the enterprise realizes the value out of. It's usually the enterprise that tends to adopt it. But one of the things that we're pushing at the show here is Electric Accelerator Developer Edition. This version of Electric Accelerator takes all of the capabilities that we've historically put in the cluster version of Electric Accelerator, all the parallelism that it provides in building, and that's all localized now to a single machine. So individual developers who have a multi-core machine sitting under their desk can get all the dramatic increases in throughput without actually having a full-blown cluster available to them. How much does that cost? That's $120 a year. Okay. Well, uh, Dax, thank you very much. This is an interesting company, and I think you may have uh, some friends that you can find here. Great, thank you. Yeah.